what is up my crazy subscriber this is joking john 64 and today i'll be reviewing the multiplayer side for battleborn and also the story mode i have not played it so i uh, cannot review that part i'll probably play this whole week so somehow and uh, hopefully i do have time too because you know the story mode is like maybe like a 30 minutes per mission or something like that so uh, it's gonna take me a bit to like complete the story mode and also the first video that i posted about this game was about the collectible figure and i ended up getting montana which is the character that I'm currently using. If you know how to develop this guy, he will become a total beast, man. You can keep your distance and you'll still kill a lot of characters like that. So, uh, learn how to use Montana, guys. So, the number one thing that I love about this game are the characters. God damn, the characters. The amount of characters you can choose from, I think it's like around 18. And you got to unlock them all, man. So, you can try, try out every single one of them. It's going to take a long time because, you know, the game modes usually last like around 20 to 30 minutes. So, um, one thing that keeps me entertained into those game modes since they last so long are the skill trees. You know, the skill trees, it's like around 10 different options, all right? And each option has two options. So... It makes you kind of like, all right, since I did choose this one path, what would have happened if I would have chosen this other path? You know, it gives you more choices you know, along the game. So um, it, that's what keeps me entertained. You know, the skill trees, the different ways you can win also because um, each character have different weapons. Like some have like pistols and, you know, machine guns, assault rifles, while the other ones have swords. And uh, some of the characters are just support, like healers and some of the kind of stuff. So there are different ways to win the game different styles different skills and it's up to you who you want to choose another thing that i really love about this game is the team tactics if you don't have a tactical team like somebody has to be support somebody has to be like an attacker and somebody has to be the, uh, some kind of a defender because if you don't have any of those kinds and you're just choosing whatever and everybody chooses like a like an assault rifle like oscar mike and uh you know montana and the sniper guy and then the other two are just melee characters how are you gonna win like that Maybe you can, but, you know, you got to really rush out there to win because you don't got a healer. So nobody's going to be saving your ass at the end. Unless you do have these kinds of perks right here that, you, that I just showed on my screen, which allows you to regen your health a lot faster and stuff. So um, if you do got good perks like that, if your whole team does have it, then you might survive. But the team that has, like, healers and, you know, keep the, people that keep their distances while they have, like, around two melee characters or something, they might have more chances to win. You know, it's up to the team to choose the right characters, too. Not only you. But the team has to put their effort in order for them to win. Another thing that I really love too is that when people back out, they can't really back out. If they try to go to a different game, they can because they got to finish the one they're playing. So I wish that would have happened also with Black Ops. That would have been nice because I know a lot of people quit when they're losing like by maybe like by 20 points in Team Deathmatch or 10 points. And people end up quitting like within the match and lacks the whole fucking server. That would have been nice in those kinds of games. But... No, it only, they only did it for Battleborn, so I'm glad they had it for Battleborn because it would have sucked to go up like, like around uh, 3 against 6 or 3 against 5 or whatever. And that would have fucking sucked, you know. I would have been pissed off about that whole situation, but I'm glad they do have that stuff on online. So, um, uh, now I'm going to be talking about the things that I hate about this game. And because I already talked about how positive you guys think I'm getting wet over this fucking game. But uh, the, there's some few negatives that I really want to point out. The maps. That's my number one negative thing, like... Why are there only two maps per game mode? That's what pisses me off. Like, I'm having a lot of fun. I, I do have a lot of fun playing this game. It, when I jump in right now, I'm going to have fun, like, right there immediately. But uh, when I look at the maps, the map options, I'm like, why are there only two maps per game mode? They're hiding it behind a paywall. What the fuck, 2K? Like, really, man? I have a lot of expectation from this game. I really do. I really do see a lot of potential in this kind of games in the future. But if you're going to hold everything behind a fucking paywall, might as well make me pay 100 bucks for the fucking game at once. Like, might as well. Just release it for 100 bucks. Do not release it for 60 bucks and tell me that's a full game. Because right now it feels incomplete because of the freaking maps. I'm pissed off about that. And that's about it. You know, I really, I really don't have another thing to be pissed off at because, you know, I'm, I'm really having fun at the game. It's, it's just the maps that really get, gets me off. There's no, there's no server issues. There's no lag. Everything runs smoothly. The graphics may be a little bit throwing off because it looks really purple every time. So maybe it's my TV or something. Maybe it's my eyesight. But I do see everything purple. So I'm kind of, uh, I don't know. That kind of kind of throws me off. You know, kind, kind of sets me off. And, you know, I really do not like that part. So um, that's about it. That's all I wanted to talk about, guys. The positive and the negatives. Tell me your own opinion. Have you guys played this game? And tell me in the comment section and I'll respond to it later. So I'll see you guys later. And subscribe for more Battleborn.